I would love to introduce our guest judges for the evening. First up, we have John Cole. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I found the mute button, man. I found the mute button. <laughs> there you go. Well, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, John Coles. Uh, I lead data science and analytics at ACV Auctions. Um, I did my PhD in industrial engineering, uh, operations research, and over the last nine years, I've had the uh, privilege of leading data science teams, analytics teams, um, and data infrastructure teams in defense, healthcare, and now the automotive industry. Excited to see the opportunity um, and the, the talent around the room today and pumped for the session. Uh, if we don't get a chance to talk today, reach out to me on LinkedIn. I promise I'll respond within, what uh, what what was it, Sal? One or two quarters. But yeah, no, <laughs> tremendously excited. Please reach out to me and I'm excited for the conversations today. All right, welcome, John. We appreciate you taking your time to join us. Next up, we have Ash Kit. Ash Kit. Hey. How you doing? Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hey, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, so I go by AB, by the way. Um, so I am a director of data science at Liberty Mutual. Uh, I've been here about four years. Before that, um, I was at another insurance company. Uh, have been working a lot uh, in NLP, AI, and um, lately trusted AI as well. So a lot of interesting work going on across the board. Um, I did my master's in data science uh, back in 2016 at uh, UCSD, and since then have been um, part of the insurance industry, uh, working across the whole value chain of insurance. Um, as Don said, uh, I'm happy to connect on LinkedIn and chat and anytime uh, you guys want to reach out and very excited to see what, what you guys have to show today. Thank you. Awesome. AB, thank you for that wonderful intro. I told you we're bringing out the big guns, y'all. We're bringing out the big guns. All right. Next up, we have Silviana. Silviana. Gotcha. All right. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, I'm Silviana. I'm a senior business intelligence analyst at Brinks Home Security. Um, I have a very strong passion for storytelling with data. Uh, I, I always see that there's sometimes this, this disconnect where us as you know, as the people who hone in the data, gather the data, do the analysis, um, you know, uh, do the science behind everything. Sometimes don't know how to actually tell the story that we are trying to tell with the information we have gathered to the audience that is going to take that story and action it out. Um, so I'm a big, big person on um, show me the data, but tell me the story. Um, and so that's why I'm excited to be part of this panel. All right, fantastic. And thank you for coming on out. We appreciate you. All right, John, what's your feedback? I'm impressed by your knowledge of the, of the avocado industry. Um, I really appreciate how you, you weaved in uh, the drought components um, and the, the knowledge of the blight on that. Um, the big question for me, as I think about where the industry is going, is what, how would you project what sales will be next year based on what you believe to be weather conditions that are forecasted, environmental considerations, and current adoption of best practices? As a business owner, I'm like, I'm all with you. Okay, am I going to lose money or make money next year? Hey, B. Great, great uh, presentation. I really uh, love the story overall. Um, at times, I felt you went a little geeky. I am a geek, so I can understand. Uh, but think about what who your audience is. Uh, so maybe structure the story more business on, on more on the business side. Uh, so it the graph seemed a little too much at times. So you could take a little bit of step back there and only keep things that really favor your story, really tell what you're trying to convey. So only keep those elements for if you're trying to present to leadership, right? Um, and then one other thing, the suggestions were suggestions like make sense, but did you like do any kind of research in terms of figuring out what's the feasibility of those suggestions, right? So like water problems, it's not very easy to solve. So 
what's the feasibility look like so those are kind of like my suggestions and i really like that you stuck to only like three or four kpis which stand out and that's that's uh pretty pretty good so you don't want to go list out 10 kpis so sticking with a uh, few kpis makes makes total sense all right thanks ab silviana a very good presentation. I can tell you did a lot of research and you were very well versed in the topic that you were presenting. Um, I just had a, just a few things. Um, I uh, I kind of wanted when when you were giving your recommendations, um, I I wanted to see the correlation back to the year over year sales, year over year growth. I'll, I'll just correlate your your recommendations. Like a, a look here from this year to year, this year was the drought, and you can see. You know, this and this happened to uh, the KPIs to kind of um, tell, put that story together and really show that there is an impact uh, based on and, and that the business should follow your recommendations. Right. Um, and then uh, and then uh, so to give those recommendations some support um, and for your dashboards, I I it maybe just for if you're just giving a presentation limit those to the to specific um time periods we're going to see so that we don't see a whole bunch of graphs let us know that hey by the way it's an interactive dashboard you can you can you know uh guide yourself from 1980 to this year uh, but the subset of, of information we're going to focus on is at this time and this time that way um there's not a lot to look at and we you just focus in on the, the the time periods or the the KPIs at certain um, uh, time periods that you want to um, you know support your recommendations. All right, wonderful feedback. Thanks, AB. We're gonna start off with you this time. Sure. Uh, great presentation. I really like uh, your starting. You covered really good ground in terms of explaining uh, the fossil fuels, the problems, um, and uh, from on the recommendation side, I would have really liked to see. And this is a tough, tough topic to pick, believe me, it's like so common right now. Uh, so I would have liked to see talk, you talk about the grid as well, because that's one of the biggest problems in terms of expanding and um, being able to spread the use of renewable energy. So that's that's called, that's a big infrastructure problem. So you could have talked about that a little bit on the recommendation side. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I think the KPIs were good. Uh, again, I would, say that only focus put only put things in your slides that you want to show to the that tell your story uh to 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 the audience so if you're showing the your whole whole dashboard it, i i am just trying to look around what you're trying to show so you you want to just focus on things you want to show to your audience uh, the dashboard is for you to find the insights and then maybe later share it with your stakeholders to look at it outside of the meeting so yeah that's that's fine. Thank you. Feedback. All right. Great feedback. Silviana? Yeah, great presentation. I really liked how um, you did a good job at the introduction of um, like introducing what we were going to go over and why we were going to go over what we were, go, uh, we were going over. Um, it was it was a really great to um, have that foundation um, of, uh, of the presentation. So great job on that. Um, for uh, as I agree with AB. Um, your, the dashboard is uh, great, amazing. It's like, by the way, it's like, it's like here are my four big KPIs that we need to focus. And here is my dashboard where you can go find and track and do your own um, interaction of, uh, of all of these KPIs, how they trended, how they're trending now, et cetera. But focus on uh, what, you, what your KPIs are and why they're important. And, the impact that they're making overall. And last thing for your recommendations, limit those to like four, um, because the more you add, the less important they become as a whole. And you had really good recommendations. Um, so, and then the first four were, were uh, very strong ones and hone in on those and maybe add a little more detail on those four and cut the rest um, because uh, it'll it'll make those uh, more important and, and stronger. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Fantastic. John? So it looks like economic slowdowns are good for the environment. So, so when we look at some of the impact, it, 
you know, I say that tongue in cheek, but when you look at some of the positive and negative impacts there, going again to, okay, what's the recommendation? What I would love to see, and this is building on, I think, something really unique that you're teasing out there, that economic acceleration is often paired with um, uh, increase in fossil fuel usage. It would have been really cool, and this is building on some of the great insight you had to find a couple of years where fossil fuel usage declined while economic growth accelerated and tease out what was unique in those years. Because that is the difference in the real opportunity um, that you're highlighting. But I, I actually love that you're honest, like economic slowdown is good for the planet. So you're making some hard trade-offs, but finding some of those, those real diamonds in the rough is that next step in direction um, out of that. So fantastic. Sure. Thank you, thank you, John. Uh, Sylvia, we're gonna start with you this time. Um, I really, really like the, again, the introduction uh, to what you uh, what you brought. Uh, it, it's, it's really does set a really good foundation as to what we're going to see. Um, uh, just whenever you go into explaining the importance of your KPIs, uh, uh, again, limiting those so that we can um, tell like this is because of this and um, and your recommendations, link them back with the data. Um, but other than that, I really enjoyed the presentation and it, um, yeah, it's, it's something I'm gonna stay thinking about and you were very knowledgeable on the subject, I could tell. <laughs> Thank you so much. John? So I'm not gonna comment on knowledge of the topic because I live in the automotive space. So that would be entirely unfair. You did a great job with the material. One of the fun things, and then I wanna go into comments is uh, in those countries, it's a fun fact is they lease a tremendous number of vehicles for corporate reasons. And so one of the fascinating dynamics is how corporations are involved in driving EV adoption, mm -hmm. where in the United States, the idea of a company car is like, oh my goodness, I don't live in the 70s. I, I, of course, I don't get a company car. Um, so, you know, the, the really good thing, I think you nailed uh, some of the opportunities um, as far as tax incentives in some of the areas there. And if you look at what's happening in the United States now, you're, you're hitting the nail on the head. Building off of Silviana's comments, I think. Couldn't agree more. Um, but connecting uh, that recommendation back to the KPI, and that is so key in driving home the point you're trying to make to your audience. So fantastic. Thank you. I'll pass it over to AP. Great presentation. I think um, you did really well uh, across the board. And same thing, I'll say again, I think you mm -hmm. need to focus on what are like three things that I want my stakeholders to take away from this presentation. Focus on that. Tell the story to make those points. So uh, I think you one thing that you probably noticed is like while do, going to through your dashboard, you're finding it hard to figure out the when you changed the the metrics when you're trying to move to a different uh, region so if you had those graphs separately plotted out and as part of your presentation instead of showing the dashboard that would just make it much smoother to tell your story so less is more mm -hmm. um and then one uh, last thing i think you were focusing a lot on the carbon emission part so i would have loved to see um maybe like bring in the um uh, carbon neutral goals of these countries to see will they be able to achieve their goals depending on how they're going right so that could have like helped with looking into the future how our country is doing john so you saw the event what do you think overall overall hey man i i love getting to see people look at data connect it to a problem that matters to people and draw some insights out of it that's what gets me up out of bed every morning with data is you find some data, you find something that matters to people and you connect those two things to a solution. So appreciate the energy and, and some of the uh, ideas that were shared today. I got to hunt through the environmental data to find when the economy grew and our impact on the environment lessened. I'm going to be thinking about that one 
Um, but tremendous work to each of the people who presented today. Thanks for inviting me. And that's a sign of a good presentation when you think about it after the show is over, right? <laughs> hey, B, what's your feedback? Just, yeah, I loved it. I think, uh, so, Sucharita, you, you mentioned you have done this for like past two months. So like it's a lot of work, amazing work. Um, I, I know it goes, there's a lot of effort that goes into finding insights into the data and especially like the three problems that you guys brought today. They are very tough problems uh, and very real problems today uh, that you have brought uh, and tried to present on. So kudos. Viviana? Yeah. I thought this was great and you know um, kudos to you guys that presented to putting yourselves out there and presenting to strangers and just showing us all that you have that this is definitely a great great way um, to you know get outside feedback and uh, and all of the information you guys presented it was definitely very well researched and I I, I really enjoyed it thoroughly. All right guys we have our CEO on Ram Kadamarajan. I just want to thank you Thank the judges, uh, John, Akshat, Sylvania. We really appreciate you for coming today and uh, giving the feedback to our students. And probably, you know, uh, they have started on this journey about a year ago. Uh, a significant portion of our students have no idea what technology looks like and what data analytics is uh, before they started. And uh, uh, this is where uh, we, you know, this is, uh, uh, our training and our entire approach helps them like get here our goal has always been how do we uh, how do we provide like career pathways uh, for uh, people who are historically underrepresented and uh, transition them into the jobs in the data industry right so that's the the big uh, goal that we uh, have and we continue to pursue and uh, the you guys coming in and talking to them and uh, giving them feedback is a big deal uh, for them. And we sincerely thank you from the bottom of our hearts uh, for uh, for giving your time. And uh, uh, hopefully, uh, our, our student, uh, if it's okay with you guys, our student, uh, they would like to reach out to you uh, after. Right? Thank you. And. Uh, it's an exciting time of the month because every month we have uh, uh, this uh, event that happens and uh, the students work on these projects almost like two to three months to get to like where they are. They would be getting into the market like uh, next week and looking for jobs and any guidance would be super helpful. Thank you. Mm -hmm.